Okay, so I've successfully been able to control the front and back motors of my RC car using um, my Raspberry Pi, uh, my SSH into Raspbian, and now I can control the front and back motors. Um, the car is actually on right now. So I will show you how it looks. I basically have um, the battery taped to the back. That right there is a the camera. Um, and I have the um, the micro or the mini USB cord uh, from the Raspberry Pi wrapping around to come inside the battery. So this battery is powering on the Raspberry Pi too. And the car is actually turned on. You can't really see the the LED for the motor inside here. You can see the LED, that red LED in the back there is for the Pi. Um, so the car is turned on. I have everything switched in the proper configuration. Um, it's for the uh, Pi to be controlled. So now I will run the script to actually control the car. Let me put this down. Actually, first I'll test it with the remote control. So I'm gonna switch everything back and turn the remote control on. I will pull the antenna a little bit up. Give me a second to do that. So I pulled the antenna up and now I will try to control it. So as you can see, And it's moving in a little bit. Sometimes this part of the car, this cage comes down on the wheel, stops it from moving too far, but it should be going. So it's going and I will actually try and turn the motors as well. So that's working as well. And let me just try more. off, turning off the remote control, putting the antenna down, flipping the switches, and I will come back over to my laptop and open up the remote desktop connection that I have to the Pi. So right now, I'm going to run the script. It's called Pi Mobile. The way I set it up now is that it starts off with a guide to let you know what button that you need to press to make it go. So W is for forward, S is backward, A is left, uh, D is right. To stop on motion, you press the space bar. To increase power, you press A. To decrease power, you press Q. To exit the Pi program, you press X. All right, so now let me close out uh, this show this over to the middle. Um, now, whatever key I type, so W should make the um, car go forward. So I type W, the key will start moving. I will hit the uh, space bar and it stops. So if I type S, the key starts moving, space bar, stop. So if I want to turn right, I'll press D and the wheel should turn. It moved a little bit. You guys probably won't be able to notice that. And um, if I want to increase the power, I will click E. E again, the power is going up to 90, so up to 100. So now if I uh, hit D or A, I think the battery is actually running out of power right now for the actual car. Um, but if I hit W, it goes forward. And the space bar stops it. S backwards. Baseball stops it. A, the motor just moved a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. W, forward, backwards, or, well, I can press D right now actually to move the wheel a little bit to the right. Press S. Space bar to stop it. 
All right, so the front motors and the back motors are working right now. I will take another video in the future uh, to show that better when I charge up the battery for the car. Um, but everything works now properly. Um, I'm just gonna get the Pi camera to work a little bit better. And uh, what else would I do? Um, figure out a way to mount the camera on the top of the car so I can be able to view the, get, view the video from the camera while I'm driving it. That's the main goal. All right, so this is just an update for you guys. Thank you for watching.